Update 4 on Typhoon Haima, which is making landfall in the Philippines with winds of 130 miles an hour and a pressure of around 935 millibars. Moving west-northwest at around 15 miles an hour, it's positioned 17.3 north, 123.2 east. That's as of 3pm UTC, October 19th. The storm's expected to obviously move through the northernmost part of Luzon, where we have Signal 5 warnings in effect, and obviously pretty much the whole of Luzon under some sort of warning right now. And then the storm's expected to gradually weaken, come out of the Philippines maybe as a Category 2, and then head towards China, where a likely landfall will occur as maybe a Category 1 typhoon, uh, less than 100 miles east of Hong Kong. The storm's then expected to move inland and is probably going to emerge off the coast of China, still as a tropical depression, and then head towards the southernmost part of Japan. One or two models suggesting it might re-intensify to a tropical storm there as well, so we'll be watching that. Sea surface temperatures, pretty warm. Very warm, in fact. Uh, it won't really have much of an effect on the storm right now, but it could help it out just that little bit when it's over the South China Sea. However, they are uh, going down slightly near the coast of China. Wind shear has been the storm's problem in the last day or two. Uh, that's what has caused this significant weakening that the storm's been exhibiting in the last few hours. And it's going to soften the blow slightly for the Philippines, but it's still going to be a bad landfall. Category 4 it still is, um, and that's probably going to be the landfall intensity. So pretty bad winds of around 200 km per hour or more. Here's the imagery. This is what the storm's been doing. You see the beginning of that loop there. The eye looked good, uh, but started to weaken substantially. The eye's pretty much gone now. Uh, the eye wall is still quite intact, however. Uh, so it's still going to be a, a significant landfall. Um, probably, significant, uh, probably similar to one of Matthew's landfalls in intensity, but maybe not in actual damage, considering it's a sparsely populated area. Uh, but there's a storm moving in nor west-northwest towards the Philippines. You can see the landfall location looks pretty much set in stone in Cagayan province. Invest 99E and 90E are active in the Eastern Pacific. They have a small chance of forming as far as I'm aware. 99L in the Atlantic has a high chance of formation, last I saw. Nicole is way off the map uh, to the north there near Greenland, what's left of it. Invest 99B has formed in the Bay of Bengal near India. And obviously we have Hyma and Sarika dissipated this morning over Vietnam. So that's the latest worldwide and so far this year we've had 72 tropical storms in 2016 36 have gone on to become category 1 typhoons or their equivalent around the world and 21 category 3 storms or higher um, as you can see there's quite a few seasons or years above 2016 but we still have just over two months left and we'll probably get at least into the top 50 maybe you can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. Or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's F O O L 1 3. Considering that the threat of the storm is diminishing slightly, we will not be going live today, but the updates in this format will continue later on. That's all for now.